Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to clean your bottles for the very first time. Um, I want to give a shout out to my new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. Glad to have you aboard. And what I'm talking about for first time use, take this flip top bottle here that I uh, picked up at a local recycler. As you can see it's pretty nasty looking, it's pretty dirty, yucky, gosh knows what somebody was doing with it, still has the labels on. Uh, what I'm going to show you in this video is going to work for any beer bottle. So if you have the, the twist off tops and um, you know, or these flip top bottles, um, I also have some gross green ones, right? You can find these on the internet. Uh, cleaned, ready to go for about ten dollars a dozen, or in this case, if you buy them in the uh, local recyclers, um, I think they charge about twenty-five to thirty-five cents a bottle. So that's quite a bit of savings when you start adding it all up. Uh, it just takes a little bit of uh, elbow grease and a little bit of work to uh, to get these to nice, clean, and uh, drinkable standard, if you will. So um, I'm going to move the camera here and uh, I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with the flip top bottles anyways, I've got a little uh, dish. It's actually one of my cat's food dishes, but that's okay. They have a couple. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to pop these seals off. They just come off real nice and easy um, because you don't know what, well, I mean, here's the underneath of one. It's pretty cruddy on both sides. So obviously if we leave the seals on, they're not going to be, they're not going to come out clean. So first thing I do is just take the seals off. You can buy new seals. So what I normally do, it's my first batch of beer that I use these bottles in. If I open up a beer and it didn't carbonate, I'll actually pull the seal off of it. So I know not to reuse that bottle because the seal's no good on it. And then I'll just go get another seal. Uh, the ceramic tops also can be replaced. Um, our local beer store has them. Sometimes these seals are pretty hard to get off because of the gook that's on them. Alright, first set of bottles are done. And if you're a person that doesn't like to touch dirty things where you don't know, know where they were, you might just want to get a pair of latex gloves. I myself, nah, it's dirt, dirt is dirt is dirt. Just make sure I wash my hands before I put them anywhere around my face. Next step, I'm just going to use some ordinary dish soap. This is palm olive. And what I do is I just put just a little drop down each bottle. Okay, because we want to make sure we've got some soap down inside the bottles. And if your wife's bottle is on its last legs, I suggest you go to the store and buy a new bottle before you use up all of her soap, because this will use quite a bit of soap. And you'll see why when, when we're done. Alright, so, I got a little drop of soap in each one. Let's move the camera again, and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so what we're going to do, okay, we're going to pull out one of our bottles, and I just find it easier if I take a funnel. That way I don't have to run the water so long. We're just going to fill up each individual bottle with water. Basically, we're just going to keep repeating the process. Stand the bottles up in, into the uh, into the tub. And on a side note, guys, if your wife just washed the tub, I suggest you make sure you clean it when when you're done, because this isn't going to be very pretty when it's done. But you get the idea, okay? We're going to fill up the bottles so that they have their soapy water mixture in it. We're going to stand them up in the tub and we're just going to repeat the process until we have all of our bottles filled up with soapy water in the tub 
and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got all five dozen bottles um, that Tundra Walker picked up for me. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. I know you were going there anyways to get your own bottles, but it saves me a trip and uh, great bottles. Um, while I was thinking about it, while I was finishing filling up these bottles, in case you're wondering, the green and the brown Grosh bottles are 450 milliliters. In case you're wondering how much each one holds, so you can figure out how many you need. Um, when I use the, the green Grosh bottles, uh, or the flip top bottles, I, it usually takes about 48 of them for a five gallon batch of beer. Then there's another type of <clears throat> uh, flip top they're called Fisher. Uh, these here are 650 mil. Uh, they're a bit larger than the others. But um, just in case you were wondering, you can use Coleman coolers. Uh, if you've got two, I find you can fill them up with enough bottles to do one batch. Um, if you don't want to tie up your tub or if, you know the weather's nice or warm where you are, uh, you can do this all outside instead of your tub. Because kneeling on your floor, gets hard on your knees for a while. So, basically I have my bowl of seals. You will get a couple of bottles, like here, that the seal just, it, it's on there so tight you can't get it off. No problem. Let it soak with the hot water. Um, then hopefully when you're cleaning the bottle you'll be able to pull it off. So, uh, the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my little bowl and I'm just going to put some dish detergent in it. I'm going to fill it up, let it sit on the sink, and then I'm going to take an old toothbrush that I have and clean it. I'll show you that. But the key thing that I'm trying to show here, we want all of our bottles full of water. Why? Because empty bottles float. And what we want to do is we want to fill the tub over the tops of the bottles with as hot a water as we possibly can stand. Now, uh, once I get so much water in the tub, I turn off the water and I just hold the bottles under the water till they all fill up and then just keep pushing them down. So I'm going to fill this up with hot water now. We're going to let it soak for a few hours. Then we're going to come back. And our tub is almost full. You can see the, the water level is getting to the tops of the bottles. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was don't forget to put some soap in with the water of your tub. Uh, that way you've got lots of soap in there to help loosen up the glue on the um, on the bottles. And uh, we'll just keep this going here for a minute. A few more bottles are just about ready to, to get filled up. And basically you just want to submerge all of your bottles. Uh, then that way, you know, there's, there's no air pockets. Your bottle is fully submerged with soapy water, hot soapy water to loosen up. Uh, the mold and everything else that's inside these bottles and uh, basically once once all of your your bottles are totally submerged you can turn off your hot water and leave it for a couple of hours okay so <clears throat> the bottles are almost ready I have an old toothbrush here that I use for sh scrubbing things that actually these seals in, in particular so we're just going to wet our toothbrush and we're just going to take our toothbrush here and we're just going to rub our seals. Give them a little wash. And everything just really comes off all nice. I'm just going to throw it in the sink there and we're just rinse them out. And this is probably, you know, the most time consuming thing about brewing beer. Is when you first get your bottles, you know, uh, whether it be flip tops or regular beer bottles um, you know is cleaning them for the first time so I'm not going to film all of this I'm sure you can get the hint you can see I'm just taking the toothbrush and rubbing gently making sure they're all clean all the way around the edges and then I'll just rinse them off all here. So. Ready to do our bottles and I'm going to show you you never know what's in the bottom of the bottles. As you can see, there's an old cigarette butt. Looks like somebody was smoking a joint and put it out in their beer bottle. 
and as we wash you'll find mold and everything else so this is my least favorite part and extremely time consuming but let me move the camera here and uh, I'll just show you how it's done a little milk crate here that I'm gonna sit on because ceramic tile is pretty hard on your knees so first thing uh, eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe uh, got a bottle brush Get a little nylon scrubby pad. Okay, this will help take the label and the glues off. My son's a little hyper, and you probably hear him in the background because he just got home from a basketball game, which their team won. All right, so we're just gonna peel the labels off. The warm hot water, you know, really helps out in this. Um, just peels off. Now you don't want to just throw this back in the water. Um, for obvious reasons because when you go to empty your tub you're gonna have it everywhere so get our bottle brush nice and clean and we're just gonna jam it in there now I do have the end bent a little bit hopefully we can see this on the camera I have it bent so I can get right into the corners of the bottles so we're gonna stick her in here and we're gonna drive it all in the corner we're gonna spin the bottle drive it into the corner because if there's any mold or anything in there we want to get it out hopefully I can get this in the camera here and then a little on the center and then scrub the bottle and just turn it see if I can get it just like so and we're gonna pull it out empty out all the water then we take our scrubby pad just wash around the neck where the label was and there we have it a perfectly clean bottle all right now the one thing that I should have is my toothbrush okay now there's still a little bit of crud on this ceramic top so we're just going to take our toothbrush Just clean it off like so and then we're ready to put our seals on when it's dry and uh, basically we're just going to repeat the process this works for all beer bottles the only label that I found uh, doesn't come off is the uh, Corona bottles so don't waste your time time trying to get the labels off it's almost like a plastic or a vinyl uh, that's glued on you'll never get it off so save yourself the trouble don't bother, just focus on cleaning the inside of the bottle. So, now I've got uh, five dozen less one bottle to go. Alright, so now our bottles are all washed. Now we've got to put our seals back on. Um, so we've taken off our seals. And if you can see, this little ridge that's around there, this actually goes on this side of the ceramic top. So, we're just going to take it flip it over right and you just dig in one side of the seal and just work the way around perfect like this because we want this smooth side is what actually seals down on the top of the bottle so now we just have to go finish putting all our seals back on alright so here we go bottles are all done I mean Look at nice and clean a bottle is now. Even the green grosh, I mean, just perfect, nice and shiny. You know, I, there's a lot of things, you know, these bottles are really dirty. There's a lot of gross stuff inside them, and I don't want to discourage anybody from doing this. I mean, you know, yeah, it's yuck, but it's just dirt. Uh, plus, you're saving yourself a lot of money. I mean, $10 a dozen already cleaned or 35 cents a bottle and you clean it yourself I mean all in all these bottles soaked for three hours um, total it probably took me about a little over two hours to put them all in in the tub and wash them all take all the labels off them um, but when you go to actually uh, do a batch you know your bottles are already cleaned um, you know you might just Give them a good rinse, you know, before you sanitize them. Um, 
and you're all set for brewing. So uh, it's that easy. And it, the same rule applies, you know, for regular beer bottles in the labels. You know, same deal. You just don't have to take the seals off. So uh, thanks for watching. And if there's any other tips that you'd like to know or see videos on, um, just send me an email or throw it in the comments. And thanks for watching.